Hello you lovely Mario Maker person, my name is Sif and welcome back. Today we are going to talk about ground tiles. Ground tiles are Mario Maker items which are often forgotten and that's a shame. Not because there are so many cool things possible with them, but because they are probably the single most used item in Super Mario Maker. Most levels would lack a floor, a ceiling and walls if it wasn't for the ground tiles. So today ground tiles finally get the moment of fame they deserve before we all forget about them again. So you ready? Let's do this! In our first idea, Mario is trapped in this little box. There isn't much he can do here. He can't reach the spring and trying to use the muncher as an elevator would be lethal. Luckily there is a door which transports Mario to... Well, that's weird. The new room looks almost similar to the one before, but all elements that aren't on tracks are mirrored. This allows our brave plumber to pick up the power block. But what next? Better mirror the room once again, but now together with his powerful power block. Together with his power block, Mario is now able to create a small elevator by putting the power block on top of the muncher, which allows him to reach the spring. All our little jump and runner has to do now is to mirror the room once again, but this time together with the spring and... Um, hmm, how does this work? Mario has to trigger the P-switch on the top, but P-switches can't be triggered from below. How to activate this P-switch? Oh, of course, that's brilliant Mario. The power block can be used to push the P-switch into the muncher. Clever. Here Mario finds himself trapped in a small corridor between ground tiles. Usually this wouldn't be a problem for a plumber, but sadly for him there are forms on track cycling up and down, trying to crush him. The only chance he has to escape this idea alive is to time his movement careful, so that he doesn't get crushed. The most important job of ground tiles is it to create floors and walls. Most of the floors created in Super Mario Maker are just a simple flat surface filled with ground tiles. And that's a pity, because these wonderful tiles allow for much more interesting and complex floor and wall variations. Here for example Mario has to make his way through a dangerous area filled with bob arms. But instead of using simple flat surfaces, Bowser decided to use much more interesting ground patterns in order to create a much more unique looking stage. Bowser definitely succeeded in doing so as the floor looks really cool here. But maybe he spent a little bit too much time texturing the floor in a perfect way as Mario manages to escape this stage without ever being in any real danger. Here Mario has to make his way through a dangerous ghost house. There aren't many obstacles for him to avoid here. His main task is simply to jump from ground tile to ground tile until he reaches the exit. I have to admit this idea isn't my proudest moment, but hey, ground tiles are complicated. Mario seems to make his way through our ideas pretty fast today. In fact, he's so fast that this idea isn't even finished. Mario, please slow down, Bowser is still building this stage. It, it looks like Mario doesn't care. Mario, are you really going to make your way through a level that isn't finished? There are still digging machines forming the ground, cranes placing the ground tiles and Lakitos filling the area with coins. Mario, are you sure about this? Wow, it, it looks like he doesn't care. He really wants to rescue his beloved princess. Luckily, the next idea is already finished. This idea is pretty simple. It's a straight, simple room and there really isn't much going on here. But once Mario goes through the warp pipe, he gets placed into the same room again, but this time enemies appeared. Hmm, strange. Maybe the warp pipe wasn't finished. Maybe going through the pipe again solves this problem. Hmm, it looks like it doesn't. Our plumber is once again in the same room, but this time there is a bull circle in the middle. I see, the ground tiles in this room always stay the same, but it becomes increasingly more challenging to reach the other side of the room. That's a really interesting concept and it's probably possible to create pretty interesting puzzle rooms around this idea as well. Great job Bowser. But it looks like Bowser was once again too focused on creating something interesting with ground tiles than in killing Mario, as Mario escapes once again without many troubles. I hope Bowser was more careful with the next idea and didn't forget to make Mario's life really tough again. Hmm, 
No, that looks pretty difficult. Our plumber finds himself on top of floating ground tiles. Sadly for him, the ground tiles are not only floating, but some of them are inhabited by dangerous grinders. But that's still not all. In order to escape, Mario needs to find free red coins scattered on top of these killer platforms. Will he make it? And if he makes it, is there some sort of reward room hidden behind this locked door? Well, yes he makes it and yes there's a reward room hidden there, but it's not the most rewarding reward room, more a dangerous reward room trap. As soon as Mario enters this room, the blue platform drops down and he has to react quickly. At the bottom there are ouchy spikes, which he doesn't want to touch. So his only chance is to perform a series of really tricky wall jumps in between these two ground tile platforms, while coins drop down onto him, as if they were to make fun of him and his horrible situation. Looks like Bowser stopped focusing on interesting crown tile patterns and is back in business. Luckily for Mario there are platforms which enter this area after a while and allow him to escape. And now it's time to take a look on my favorite idea with ground tiles. Mario finds himself in a small corridor. There isn't much to do here for him. He can't jump on top of these strange platforms and he can't reach any item either. Luckily there was a door at the beginning and going through this door changes the room by rotating all platforms by 90 degrees. While all platforms changed it appears as if the rest of the room stayed the same. But thanks to the rotation he's now able to reach this spring and to re-rotate the room. But this time together with the trampoline. If he wants to escape this idea he needs to grab this P-switch. But he isn't able to jump high enough even together with his spring. But while he can't reach the spring yet he's able to reach this power block. All that Mario needs to do now is to build a small contraption which allows him to reach higher places. Luckily a power block on top of a spring does exactly this. Thanks to his new invention Mario is able to reach the P-switch and to escape this idea. And that's it for today and for ground blocks. I hope you enjoyed this little video. If you enjoyed it don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and maybe you feel especially grounded today and want to hit the subscribe button as well. I hope you have a wonderful day and to see you soon. Goodbye.